Okay guys and welcome back to another student questions answered. Now this this was really a two part question from Al Alessandro's in the complete course that's levels one, two and three and Alessandro's question uh, related to making dynamic charts and graphs. Now what I've done uh, in level two I, I answered that in the named and dynamic range section of the course but the third part was how to automate this and make it animated using VBA so that's why that sits in level 3 here so basically this is the uh, this is the file that I created uh, to show how to do dynamic charts and we have a little scroll bar here and you can see that the chart updates dynamically but what we want to do is effectively create an animation out of this so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a thing and I'll just call it cycle Oops, and hit enter a few times now because we have uh, let me just flip back here uh, Alton F11 we essentially have 31 sets of data each in six month blocks because each of these graphs will show six months worth of data so this will be block one this will be block two if that's six so on and so forth 31 times so we get through to December 2016 so what we want to do um, we're just gonna say for X equals 1 to 30 whoops 31 Alan and we'll say here next X so there is our loop now because the uh, this is uh, this is how we started in level 2 we uh, just type a number in here what we need to do is programmatically increase this number by an increment of 1 each time so back to the code what we're going to say is range open brackets a1 dot value equals X because we're going to increase by one for each pass through this four next loop and now if uh, let me just make that a little bit whoops that's full screen <laughs> let's see if I can make this a little bit smaller so we can see both windows let's have a look uh, and I have to squish this right the way down this isn't going to work terribly well at all let me close that and let me come down here so I've, I've chopped off half of the the, the uh, thing here but hopefully you'll be able to see that so when I step through this you can see that this will become one and our chart looks like that and then it will become two and three and four and it will keep incrementing so that way if we press stop just run the code you can see that we'll get an animated chart up here so let me just press play but unfortunately that animated that quickly that you couldn't actually see what it was doing so what we need to do is introduce a pause between each of the iterations of this for next loop and to do that we're going to use the application dot wait and we're going to say now plus um, time value open brackets and we're going to put this in quotes so we're going to say zero hours zero uh, minutes and let's say one second close quotes close brackets and now look what happens in fact I'm just going to bring this off screen and just hit play and you can see what happens in the chart here so I'm just going to play that macro January 14 it's waiting for an increment of one second and then it's going through and performing the animation now there's no smooth way to do this animation in Excel but essentially that becomes an animated chart now obviously uh, let me uh, just hit escape a bit and stop that running there we go what we could do is we can change the interval here so it changes say let's say every uh, three seconds uh, and that will obviously then change the chart dynamically every three seconds but this bit's just for fun uh, so there's another thing you can add in here um, I, I've never really found a practical use for it but it's a bit of fun so I'll show you how to do it and that is add application dot speech dot speak and say open brackets and this is we want it, what this is what we want to say this chart begins at and then we want to close the quotes uh, let me just make that a little bit bigger so you can see it here so we want to say this chart begins at uh, and sheet uh, one dot range open brackets open quotes 
B1, I think it's in B1, the, uh, yeah, B1 is the date. So this chart begins at sheet one range B1, close quotes, close, close brackets, dot value, and close brackets again. Sorry, I had a, a, a slight mishap with my keyboard there. So I've just bought, this is the code that we've just looked at. I'm just gonna bring it off screen and I'm just gonna play it and you can see what that does. Oops, okay, run. This chart begins at the 1st of January, 2014. This chart begins at the 1st of February, 2014. I've just hit an escape to stop that code uh, executing. Now, obviously, if we wanted to have that play a little bit quicker, I'm not sure how many seconds it takes to actually play that through, but let me just play that, and here we go. This chart begins at the 1st of January, 2014. This chart begins at the 1st of February, 2014. There you go. Uh, so if you ever want to have your code talk to you, that's exactly how you do it with the application dot speech dot speak. Okay. Any other questions? Just let me know and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day. Thanks a lot.